guys, since this is the first video that I make about magic, I would like to talk to you about how I'm gonna do these kind of videos. This is the first video and I would like to, no matter you're a beginner or you're a really skilled magician, I think you can kind of pick up something that could make your performance better. And even if you don't know anything about magic, it's going to be fine. Because I would like to talk to every... I would like to talk about everything from the very beginning. I would like to build everything from scratch. So today, I'm just going to talk about something really simple. Now, first, the most important thing, and if you want to play do magic about cards the most important thing and and also the most basic thing is to grip the cards how do you grab onto the cards and I would recommend you to grab the cards with your left hand like this because if you later on if you really want to learn more about magic you could buy a lot of DVDs and learn a lot of sleight of hands but a lot of people just, they just talk about moves from this angle. Like, they don't do it the opposite way because most of the people, they grab cards with their left hand like this and they grab cards with their right hand like this. So I would recommend you to do the same way as I'm doing right now. But it's, it's not, if you want to, do it the opposite way then you can definitely go for it but it might you might encounter some trouble later on so this is just my recommendation you can just totally ignore it and it doesn't matter so now we're gonna talk about the grip the grip is you're gonna hold the cards with your the deck with with your left hand like this so basically you just drop the deck on to the palm your left hand and you curl your index finger like this so it lands on the short side of the deck and then you curl the three other fingers which is the middle finger ring finger and the pinky they land on the long side of the deck and then you just put your thumb on the side and there you have it this is the grip so if you you don't really have to squeeze tight to hold on to the deck but oh if you have small hands you really have to practice harder because I in my opinion I do have small hands which kind of bothers me sometimes but it doesn't matter so you don't really have to like put a lot of pressure on the cards like put a lot of effort like squeeze onto the card you just hold the cards lightly it doesn't fall down like this and then when you grab it with the right hand you take it like this the three thing fingers which is the middle finger ring finger and the pinky now they lay it on the short side of the deck and your thumb is on the opposite side from these three three fingers and now you can see my index finger is really free now it doesn't really do anything but when I grab these cards I curl my index finger because if I grab it like this it looks kind of awkward so so these are the two basic grips you can do it I think you don't really need to practice much about this. It just, it kind of just, you can do it by instinct. And now let's get into the shuffle that we're talk we're going to talk about today.
Okay, first of all is the overhand shuffle. What is the overhand shuffle? Basically, you just shuffle the cards like this. They can do it faster. There's a lot of things that you can do with this. So how do you do an overhand shuffle? Basically, you just grab the cards like this. Then you take your right hand and you grab the cards like this. The three fingers lands on the short side of the deck and your thumb is on the opposite side. Okay, like this. And then you place your left hand thumbs up. Oh, palms up, sorry. When your left, right hand comes close, you put the deck into the palm of your left hand, like this, like so. And then your left thumb is gonna grab a group of cards. It doesn't matter how much. Like when you're practicing, if you're just a beginner, you might grab a little card or a, a lot of cards. You're gonna grab a few cards or a lot of cards, but it doesn't matter. Like the more you practice, the better you can, you can do and the faster you can get. Okay, so this is the overhand shuffle. So slow motion, you can do it. Let me show you slow motion, it's like this. You put the deck here, grab, and leave. You put it back, grab, and leave, like so. This is the slow motion. But if you do it faster, it's gonna look like this. Okay? So this is the overhand shuffle. Okay, now let's talk about the Hindu shuffle. The Hindu shuffle you basically you hold the deck like this you hold the deck with your middle finger and ring finger on the long side yet on the bottom of the long side of the deck then on the other side you hold it with your thumb and but this time you're gonna put your right hand palm down and your left hand is gonna you're gonna put your left hand palm up and when your deck comes right here you grab the top portion probably you can practice with you can start to practice with a huge block of cards and over time you can kind of reduce the amount the amount of cards that you're grabbing onto number of cards so basically you're gonna put the deck into the palm of your left hand and your left hand is gonna grab some cards from the top of the deck and then your right hand is gonna slip the rest of the deck away and the second time when you come through like this you're gonna drop the first portion of the card and do the same thing over and over again so this is the slow motion okay okay right hand comes in grab top of portion and slip the bottom away and release them so if you do it faster, you can do it like this. Okay, so this is the Hindu shuffle.
Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the slip cut. Well, basically, when you cut a card, is it means just to take a portion of the cards and just flip, kind of change the the arrangement of the cards. And sometimes there's no table for you, so the slip cut really comes into play in this kind of situation. So. Basically, a slip cut looks like this. Okay, this is a slip cut. And how, how to do it? First, you're gonna hold the deck like this. Okay, I'm gonna hold it on the short side, but kind of different because you're gonna hold it towards your right side if you're holding it. With your right hand, okay. Kind of really close to this side. Okay, so now you're in this position, and then you're gonna utilize your index finger and cut a certain portion of cards, like let's say about fifteen cards. Just cut it. Just contact. Make contact with your. Index finger and open it. It's gonna be like this, and then you just put it into your left hand. I like to kind of grab it, like with my thumb, like this. And when you come more towards the left side, you can release it and put it in the palm of your hand. And let's do it again. Here's the grip. Cut it. Take it. Drop. So when you do it faster, it's gonna look like this. And yeah, this is basically what it is. And I kind of like to kind of add a little bit of move right at the end. The last pack, I would like to flip it over and put it on to. The deck, but this it's totally unnecessary. But if you want to learn it, here's how to do it. You basically you just flip your wrist over, and then you're gonna pivot the deck with your index finger so that it kind of become parallel to the floor. And notice that your thumb is holding just a tiny bit, like on the side of your with this side of your thumb. And then you're gonna make contact. This point is gonna get close to the base of your index finger. And then your thumb is gonna slide down like this, so it flips over. So now you're grip gripping. The little portion of the card is like this, and then you just drop it onto the deck. And this is how I normally do, but the last step is totally unnecessary if you don't want to do it. It's definitely fine, but to me, it just looks better. Okay, so if you can kind of increase the speed, it really looks like you are a magician. Okay, so. These are some shuffles and some basic techniques that you could be able to practice. Okay, so now we can move forward, move on to the riffle shuffle, which is to some degree kind of a bit a bit challenging, okay? It's kind of challenging for somebody, but I'll explain it as clearly as I possibly can, and if you don't understand some certain parts, just leave. A, make sure to leave a comment below and ask me whatever you want. Okay, so the riffle shuffle basically it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this, and how to do it is that you break. You separate the cards into two portions, okay? 
And then, first you can practice with a table. You lay it on the table like this. Okay? You just use your index finger to kind of push down onto the cards. And your thumb just lift the card. So they kind of bend, you know? You know what I'm saying? They kind of bend. Let me try to do it sideways. They kind of bend. And then you release it. When you release it with your thumb, you don't release the whole thing like that so so quickly. You don't release, release it like that. You have to like kind of take your time and let card by card, let go card by card, okay? So this, so then you have this, okay? And then the you can make it fancier by doing this, okay? So you do really need, kind of need a bigger hand to do this, but with practice, it doesn't really matters. Okay, so you break the cards into two piles, and then you do the riffle on the table to practice. And when you come into this position, you need to bend the whole deck okay bend the whole deck but there's a little tip you need to you could kind of like move the top card more towards the center so if you bend it it doesn't go like this it doesn't break to into two parts okay so you riffle and hold the top card or kind of move it towards the center, which is totally fine. And then you're gonna hold the bottom like this and bend it. And there's only one thing left to do is to release it. I'm gonna do it sideways right now. Yeah, release it and it's gonna fall automatically. Okay, so this is how to do it. And after practicing with a table, you can kind of, you can try to do it without a table. You can kind of like bring it up a notch. If you don't want to you, you utilize the table, you need a different grip, okay? You separate the two, the deck into two portions and you grab it like this. You kind of have to grab the cards deeper if you do it on the table, you can kind of grab it like this because the table is going to hold the deck for you. But now, what you're going to do is is that you need to create a table with your own hands. So, there's no place for you to put the deck. So, you kind of have to buckle the deck. Kind of curl your finger so the deck doesn't fall off. Okay? This is how I hold my deck. I curl my three fingers up like this, and then I could push down with my index finger and pull up with my thumb like this. And if you're able to do this, you're ready to do the riffle shuffle without a table like this. Okay, and if you want to make it kind of fancier, because you don't want to like break, break it into two like so, so normally, you want to do something fancier, you can riffle about half of the deck and take it with your left hand and then do the riffle shuffle. Okay, that's kind of a little bit of variation right there, but... You can practice from on the table at first. Okay, so this is the riffle shuffle. Okay, so now we're moving on to a bit of a casino, casino situation right here. You can do the table riffle shuffle, which looks like this. When you go into the casino, they always do the shuffle like this on the table. 
and they square it up. So basically this is almost the same as the riffle shuffle that we've taught before, that we've talked about before. So you def you basically just separate the cards into two piles and let them come close at this angle of the deck, okay? And then you're gonna push down onto the deck with your other fingers, okay? Then your thumb is gonna contact with the deck from the side, and then you bend it. You kind of bring it up. If you, if you can hold the deck properly, you can push down with your index finger. So this is how you do it. You push down with your index finger. This is a way to do it. Push down with your index finger and then pull up with your thumb. So it kind of looks like this. And then it's basically the same thing. And after you riffle through throughout the deck, you kind of need to push them in. Push, it, push them in like this. And how to square it up? Just squeeze it so it lines up. And then you you you, you kind of square it with the two angles right here. Like so. Okay? So this is basically how it looks. Okay? Okay. 